Well, good morning, one, and welcome to Monday's Thought of the Day. Yesterday in our service, we considered God's grace to David from Psalm 30. Now, we are familiar with God's grace in the New Testament, but sometimes we forget that God's grace is there in the Old Testament too. In fact, the whole story of God's relationship to human beings is a story of grace. So each day this week, we're going to look at an example of God's grace in the Old Testament. Now, the noun grace is rarely found in the Old Testament, but the adjective graces is far more common. In Exodus 34, we read that God is gracious towards his rebellious people. He's just rescued Israel from slavery in Egypt. But before too long, they're committing idolatry, they're making a golden calf, and God is rightly angry with his people. And it may leave every Israelite asking themselves, can it be the same with God again? We've mucked up. Maybe we've asked the same question when we've let God down. But God does not give up on his people. He calls, he calls Moses to a mountain again, to be a mediator between a holy God and a sinful people. And then the Lord passes in front of Moses, proclaiming his name, and thereby his character. Exodus 34, verses 6 to 8 reads, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands and forgiving wickedness, rebellion and sin, yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. The Lord keeps going with his people because he is full of grace towards them. These verses from Exodus are so important that they're repeated seven times in the Old Testament. So, for example, the prophet Joel uses it to call people back to God. Joel 2 verse 13. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. But how is it possible to return to God? How can God forgive sin and yet not leave the guilty unpunished? The answer, of course, is found in Jesus. He is the one who is the perfect mediator between man and God. Forgiveness and punishment, mercy and justice, grace and truth meet in Jesus. When Jesus died, your guilt was punished so that you could be forgiven. Your judgment was taken so that you can enjoy mercy. Your sin was accounted for, so that you can know the joy of God's grace. All of this fell upon Jesus. So if you're a Christian, and think there are times you've blown it with God, remember grace. It doesn't depend upon you, it depends upon our gracious God. Repent, and come back to God, and you'll enjoy his love and grace. Remember, a fresh start, is always possible for the gracious God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you for the grace you keep shown towards us through Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a good Monday. See you tomorrow.